Hello to you all jewelry maker guys. For this tutorial, first you need a wire cutter, second round nose pliers and chain nose pliers. And the important tool you need is your mandrel. And at the end, the beads or pearl at the size, color, and shape that you desire. It could be as delicate as a three millimeter bead or a little bigger. I have three of them, white one, black one, or the gold one. I have chosen the white one and I pick five of them. And of course, the main material that you need is your wires. 0.3 and 0.8 wire is needed to make this very beautiful ring. Before starting, we need to determine the ring size. One of the easiest ways is to pick up a string. And determine at this point on your mantle. That is the exact size of your ring. So pick up your string and roll it ar around your finger. Just like this, and then roll it around your mandrel. And this is the size that you need. And you would roll your wire around this point. First of all, pick up your 0.8 wire. Don't forget to pull it and make it straight. Then roll it around the mandrel on the point you have just determined. Continue that for four rolls. When you have finished rolling it around, cut the end. Just, you should pay attention how to cut it out. Just look at the starting point after it is four. Pick up your wire cutter and cut the end perpendicular to the starting point. It should be just like that. Then make a bend at both ends like this. Pick up your chain nose pliers and Make one bend at one head and another bend at the other. Okay. Put your round nose pliers and make loops at those bended parts. Pay attention, these loops should be perpendicular to the ring. Just notice the way I'm making these little loops here. It is perpendicular to the main ring. Just 
Okay. Now pick up point three wire and put it in one loop. You should first tie that up in that loop, just like this. I'm just making a little accurate tie. You could do that while you have put the ring on your mandrel. This is the work you could do every little in a while so that you could be sure that it is okay, the structure is firm. Now just notice how am I making little second tie and close that. After you have finished fixing it up, cut the wire in about 25 centimeter and then insert beads one after the other. Just cut it out and strengthen and then insert every bead. I have chosen these little white ones that make the final appearance delicate and so beautiful. Put all of them and if there are little things like this, fix it with your chain nose pliers. It should be all straight. If there are some bothering parts, don't bother. You could fix it all right. Okay, then make another tie as you should do like the one that you just finished. Make another tie at the second loop and fasten it up. As always, you could use your tools, especially your round nose pliers, to make it better. Okay, then weave it two or three times on the main structure. Throw it here in the main ring structure and weave it. The last one should be somehow a back, a flashback tie. so that it goes to the top, just like this, and then notice to put it in the middle of every two beads. Do that 
one after the other for all of these beads. Continue that to the end. When you have finished doing this for the first time, this is the time that you do that another time, but the vice versa. Do the same and weave it back. Like the other side, just tie two, three, or four times on the main structure and then weave it back in the middle of every two beads. And continue rolling it around. This could make a very beautiful structure that is so delicate and nice. Okay, at the end, should make another tie to finish this. Cut it out and push inwards. Okay, now let's test it out. It's okay, just some little fixing. Put it on your mandrel again. And just hammer it with a plastic hammer or just with your tools, it could be done. The plastic part of your chain nose pliers maybe is a good choice. Okay, this is all right. And here it is, your beautiful ring. I hope you have enjoyed this video and make this ring and use it.